Homecoming week at Minnesota State University Moorhead opened with a roar. Welcome to Dragon's Got Talent! The first annual Dragon's Got Talent show rallied students from on and off campus to watch and get into the school spirit. From international students to whole dorm rooms, dragons of all types came to the show to support their school and the brave performers who took the stage. Student Rahil Pereira arrived early for the event. I am super pumped for this year's talent show. I, have, I think there are a great set of artists going to perform tonight. Working with the homecoming committee, the student-run Dragon Entertainment Group put on the show and supplied the stage for courageous students to show off their skills. Host Emily Tiefen Thaler was excited to see all the performers. Like We have different singers, we have dancers, we have a magician. It's like There's just a wide variety of you know, acts. The variety of talents reflect the variety in the performers themselves. I'm Ace and I'm Jeff. Magic Mayheim. Ali Moss. We uh, will be doing a ventriloquist act together. I am a seven year performing magician. I am singing my original song. Even Judge Steve Fox was looking for something special from the acts. I would say trying to look at what's going to be unique and what's going to stand out. Dragon Entertainment Group had advertised the event and auditions for weeks allowing plenty of time for competition to build. Assistant Morgan Kraft anticipated the event's intensity. Top three get uh, prizes and there are 12 acts, so it'll be very competitive. Throughout the night, the stars under the spotlights proved that MSUM is home to an array of inspired individuals. But only one could take home the gold. And your winner, Magic. Yeah. Yeah. I honestly wasn't expecting it. I was like, if I didn't get anything, I was totally happy with that. Everyone was really talented, and I really think a lot of them deserved it more than I did personally. But I'm humble in first, I guess. I mean, I felt bad, so like I shook everyone's hand on stage, which was kind of awkward, but you know, hey. Dragon Entertainment Group coordinated backstage while host Fleury Clark Girimana ensured the show ran smoothly on stage. Clark especially felt the event went well. The event was very successful. Um, we had a good turnout. We had so many people showing up, and everybody seemed to have a really good time, and uh, the winners were so excited, and all the acts were amazing, creative, different, and just incredible. With the diversity of Minnesota State University Moorhead student body on full display, the Dragons showed the audience that they really do got talent. For Dragon Radio, I'm Peter Van Batavia.